what's going on guys IFS Pro here now today I'm going to be showing you how to edit smart objects in Photoshop so essentially the reason I'm making this video is because uh, when you do start out on YouTube and you kind of hit kind of get popular um you want to start making your own custom thumbnails now in order to do this you will need to either draw the photos yourself or get the photos from online so um I have made a few uh well you can also use it to do speed art as well i'll leave a, a description a link in the description sorry to my speed art channel and gaming channel if you want to check that out so that this will enable you basically to crop out the white areas and stuff like that i'll show you an example here also at the end of the video i will leave um i will leave some footage of some speed art i've done as well and I've also done this background over here as well. So, um, as you can see, I have this logo. This is the graphics channel logo. Now, as you can see, if you have the magic wand tool, now, um, the magic wand tool basically it, it selects certain areas in which you want to select, and you can change the tolerance. So, the higher the tolerance, the more it will select. But as you can see, I've selected all of this. Now the reason, if the colors all the same, then it will select it. But since this is a gradient background, it's going to select the parts that's find similar. So if I just click delete, it says could not complete your request because the smart object is not directly editable. Now in order to edit smart objects and delete the background, it is pretty simple. So you just want to head up into layer, and you want to find the smart objects tab, and on the at the very bottom you want to click rasterize. Now it's rasterized the photo, so now when I click it, it deletes the background. So this is very good for adding like uh, your logo or some pictures of stuff as well into your images and thumbnails or and also speed up. So as you can tell on my YouTube channel, uh, where I've made some custom thumbnails recently. As you can see down here. It also you can also do it for your banner as well you basically do it for anything on Photoshop so essentially all of these ones here so these three here this is a great example see I've cropped out the computers and stuff like that so that is um how you edit smart objects out of smart edit smart objects in Photoshop so I'm just gonna stop the recording now and play some of the uh, speed up video at the end and I'll see you guys in the next video enjoy changes. life.